क्वेश्चन फोर सेज एग्जाम इन द टेबल दिस टेबल दैट यू सी हेयर ईच फिगर इज डिवाइडेड इन टू ट्राइंगल्स एंड द सम ऑफ द एंगल्स डिड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम दैट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस टेबल सो फर्स्ट वी हैव दिस ट्राइंगल थ्री साइड्स इन द ट्राइंगल एंड द एंगल द सम ऑफ द एंगल्स इन साइड द ट्राइंगल इज वन एटी देन वी हैव दिस कॉडिलेटरल एंड दिस कॉडिलेटरल हैज बिन डिवाइडेड इन टू टू ट्राइंगुलर पार्ट्स बाय ड्राइंग दिस डायगनल एंड the sum of the angles is taken as 2 into 180 degrees because we have two triangles then we have this pentagon and the pentagon has been divided into three triangular parts by drawing these two diagonals and the angle sum has been taken as 3 into 180 degrees because there are three triangular parts and the sum of angles in each part is 180 and then we have this hexagon uh, which has been divided into four triangular parts by drawing three diagonals and then the sum of the angles has been taken as 4 into 180 degrees because the sum of angles in each uh, part will be in each triangular part will be 180 degrees then the question says what can you say about the angle sum of a convex polygon with number of sides 7 8 10 and n so we have to find a general expression for n now what i will do is i will first help you understand how we are doing this um this calculation 2 into 180 3 into 180 and 4 into 180 in a little bit more detail and then we will come back to these four parts and solve them so let's first take a convex quadrilateral so here i've taken this quadrilateral abcd and now to find the angle the sum of angles abc and d what we can do is we can divide this quadrilateral into two triangular parts by drawing a diagonal so let's draw this diagonal ac and we see that uh, this diagonal splits the angles at a and c into uh, two parts each so we have this angle 1 and angle 2 here let's say and then we have angle 3 and angle 4 uh, at the vertex c and now if we separately apply the angle sum property to triangle abc and to triangle adc we will find that the sum of angles in triangle ABC is 180 degrees and the sum of angles in triangle ADC is also 180 degrees and so if we add them up we will end up getting the sum of all the four angles angles A B C and D and why will that happen well because angles 1 and 2 will add up to angle A and angles 3 and 4 will add up to angle C so what we will get is the sum of all the four angles equal to 180 plus 180 or 360 degrees so the angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees which we can think of as 2 into 180 degrees and 2 being the number of triangular parts and the relationship of 2 the number of triangular parts with the sides of the quadrilateral which is 4 is 4 minus 2 so we have four sides and we do 4 minus 2 so we get the num number of triangular parts 4 minus 2 into 180 degree is the um uh total sum of angles in a quadrilateral now let's take a pentagon now how can we find the sum of angles of uh, this pentagon so how can we find angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d plus angle e so let's use the same logic as we used in the case of the quadrilateral let's divide up this pentagon into triangular parts so from a let's draw the diagonal ac and let's draw the diagonal ad so now we get three triangular parts uh, made by these uh, two diagonals and if we see how these two diagonals are splitting up the angles at each vertex so at angle a, at the vertex a we are getting three parts we are getting uh, let's call these parts angle 1 2 and 3 and at the vertex c we are getting two parts so let's call them 4 and 5 and then at vertex d also we are getting two parts so let's call them 6 and 7 now once again the sum of the angles in each triangular part will be 180 degrees so in triangle abc we we will have the sum of angles 1 angle b and angle 4 as 180 then in angle acd also we will have angle 2 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 will be 180 and then in angle in triangle aed also we will have angle 3 plus angle e plus angle 7 this will be 
180 degrees. So if we add up all of these angles, we will get the sum of all the five angles of the pentagon because angle 1, 2 and 3 will add up to angle A, angle 4 and 5 will add up to angle C and angle 6 and 7 will add up to angle D. So if we add all the angles in the three triangles, we will get angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus angle E and we will get their numerical value as 180 plus 180 plus 180 or 540 degrees. So the sum we will get for the five angles, the sum we will get is 3 into 180 degrees because we have three triangular parts and the relationship between 3 and the number of sides of the pentagon is we have five sides and we subtract two. So we get three triangular parts and we do this into 180 degrees to get the sum of angles of uh, a pentagon. Now similarly we can apply the same logic to a hexagon. So here's a convex hexagon. Let's once again divide this into triangular parts. So from vertex A, let's draw the diagonal AC, AD, AE and AF. Uh, so AF is not a diagonal, so we will get only three um, diagonals from the vertex A, which will divide up the hexagon into four triangles. And the sum of the angles in each triangle will be 180 degrees. So we'll have 180 degrees for triangle ABC, 180 degrees for triangle ACD, 180 degrees for triangle ADE, and 180 degrees for triangle AEF. And once again, if we add all of the uh, angles in the four triangles, we will get the sum of the six angles of the hexagon. And the, the numerical value we will get is 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180. So uh, 180 repeated four times. So we will get four into 180 degrees. And this is basically equal to the number of sides six minus two to get uh, the number of triangular parts into, into 180 degrees. So this is how we can calculate the, num the sum of angles of any uh, polygon. The same logic can be applied to any polygon. So let's do, let's go back to the question and do that now. Okay, so in the question in part A, we had to find the angle sum of a convex polygon with seven sides. So for a convex polygon with seven sides, how many triangular parts can we split this polygon into? So we have seven and we do minus two. So we can split up the polygon into five triangular parts. And then for each triangular part, the angle sum will be 180. So the total angle sum will be seven minus two into 180 or five into 180. And this is equal to 900 degrees. So for any seven sided polygon, convex polygon, the angle sum will be 900 degrees. Similarly, for a convex polygon with uh, eight sides, the triangular parts that we can make will be 8 minus 2 or 6 and the total the sum of angles for each part will be 180 so the total sum of angles will be 8 minus 2 into 180 which is 6 into 180 degrees and this is equal to 1080 degrees and similarly for a polygon with 10 sides the number of triangular parts we can split it into is 10 minus 2 so 10 minus 2 and we multiply this by 180 degrees for the sum of angles in each part. So this will be equal to 8 into 180, which is equal to 1440 degrees. So this is the sum of angles for any convex polygon with 10 sides. And fin finally, in general, for a polygon with n sides, the sum of angles will be how much? How many triangular parts can you divide this n-sided polygon into? Well, you can divide this into n minus two triangular parts. And for each of these triangular parts, the angle sum will be 180 degrees. So the total sum will be n minus two into 180 degrees. And this is a general expression that can allow us to calculate the sum of the angle sum for any n-sided convex polygon, a convex polygon with any number of sides. So with this, we have completed question number four. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.